Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So recently I made a video where I went retro game hunting in Okinawa, Japan, and I picked up this PSP 3000 model. Now this is from a store called Hard Off, and I had no indication that this device wouldn't actually work, but it came without a battery, so I wanted to buy one to test it to see if it had any other issues. So I went ahead on Amazon and just ordered a generic battery. It's pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see if this thing has power. Okay, green light is on, green is good. Can you hear the game spinning up? Ooh, yeah. Of course, it's in Japanese. Let's go ahead and put the settings up. Now, I did mention the screen is kind of matte right now. There is a little screen protector on top of it. So I would almost probably just rip this off. Oh, and it's going straight to the game. What if I don't want to? Okay, let's see if we can get our way to the device settings. Thanks to a quick little YouTube video, I found out how to go and change the settings. Let's go right here second option and then we can go ahead and pick English and now I can understand everything that's happening here so let's go ahead and launch a game and see if all the inputs are working and because this is a Japanese PSP the circle button is yes instead of the X button or the cross button I don't think there's a language setting in this game. Probably not. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting the button. Thank you. Okay. Let's go to continue. Now, I will say I'm not used to the actual hearing a disc spin in a portable handheld for a while, and it does throw me off. Looks like this person had a few characters. This one was, oh my god, 1,321 hours. That's some dedication. Their second character is also 100 hours. Okay, so we already know that the D-pad works. Let's look at the analog stick. Looks like it works fine. Trigger works. How do I just go hunt something? Can I? Of course, don't know what that means. Okay, we're in the game now. It looks like square works, triangle works, circle works, and X works. We have trigger here, look at this trigger, everything seems to be working. And then we have camera controls. So I, I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, awesome. All right guys, so that was my quick little update video on the PSP I picked up from Japan. I'm really happy with this purchase and I'm really happy to have a PSP. Like I mentioned before, I only had the 1000 model, 
back when I was a kid and it was one of my favorite systems. So it's cool to relive it through here. Now I have some plans for this. I am gonna make a video where I kind of take it apart and clean it because it is a little crusty in someone else's system. And then I also might do a jailbreaking video, but I did pick up a good amount of games in Japan for the PSP. I doubt that they have English settings, but if you guys wanna see gameplay of these, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video of it. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, drop a like. If you want to see more videos in the future, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.